Hey, what's up, everybody? Jeff here, lifelong gamer and head of business development at Powder. I'm excited to be back with you today as I get to walk you through some of the latest and greatest features of Powder. Before we dive into things, you can go to powder.gg now to download the PC app to your Windows computer and try all of our game-changing automation features for yourself. For those of you that are new to Powder, Powder is a revolutionary AI-assisted toolkit that empowers creators to curate, edit, and share their streaming content across social media platforms with ease. Today, we're going to be covering a few topics such as an overview of Powder's core technology, a walkthrough of the user interface, how to analyze a piece of content, how to extract clips from a stream with surgical precision, how to prepare clips for posting on social media using the Powder vertical layering system, and how to create a montage of our best streaming clips. So with all of that out of the way, let's take Powder for a spin. Powder leverages two kinds of AI technology that dramatically reduce the time that it takes to go from live streaming to posting amazing clips across social media. One AI that we use is game specific. We've trained AI models to detect the best in game moments in over 27 of the world's most popular games. When you play one of these 27 games on stream and then process that stream through Powder, our AI will analyze what happened in game, auto detect the best moments and then present them to you as a potential highlight to edit and post. This means a great goal in FIFA, a skillful headshot in PUBG, a painful death in Cuphead, or an amazing win in Fall Guys, and so on. The other AI that we use is Game Agnostic, and this makes it really interesting. It does anonymous emotion detection and sound analysis via the audio stream, making it perfect for creators that are streaming on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, or other VOD, because when you laugh, you cry, you scream or shout, our AI will identify that as a potentially amazing moment that needs to be captured, and again, it will auto-create a highlight for you. The awesome thing about this tech is that it works on all 50,000 plus games that are on Steam, any game on the Epic Games Launcher, EA, and more. With both of these combined, we are saving creators upward of 10 hours per week, which translates to 520 hours saved per year, which is a massive time saving for any creator. This results in more rest, more stream time, improved energy levels during streams, and faster channel and audience growth thanks to being able to post short form videos that have the potential to go viral on a daily basis. However, we have made some significant enhancements recently that are gonna save you countless hours of work. So rather than uploading a video and processing it to find a really wide variety of the best in-game or emotion-based highlights, we're now utilizing a combination of three technologies backed by our machine learning algorithms to pinpoint the most impactful moments in a stream. The first of those technologies is auto-transcription which transforms every word spoken on stream into searchable text within minutes. Not only does it transcribe your content, but it also intelligently categorizes it for easy referencing, ensuring no moment of your streams go overlooked. The next technology we've deployed is Smart Keyword Search, which allows you to instantly locate every mention of specific words across your video clips, helping you track and amplify asset, brand, and sponsorship engagements. And last but not least, we've deployed a large language model that enables intelligent video highlight extraction. We're confident that this feature in particular is going to revolutionize how highlights are identified and extracted, as it uses our advanced AI to intuitively understand and pick out the most impactful moments from hours of footage based on your keyword inputs. The large language model then scores the video clips based on various parameters like events, emotions, loudness, and of course, transcript content. Now it's time to get into it, so we're gonna go through everything section by section, starting up here at the library. This is essentially the homepage of Powder, where you can see all of your long form video content. And we've tried to keep things as simple as possible. Here you can connect your Twitch channel and soon your YouTube channel to Powder, so that every time that you finish streaming, your content will be auto uploaded to Powder, saving you precious time when you need to quickly analyze a stream and search for clips that have specific keywords or brand activations. You can also manually upload a piece of streaming content by dragging and dropping an MP4 file here, or by pasting the Twitch or YouTube stream link right here. Next up, we have the clip section, and this is where you can find all of your streaming highlights that you've already extracted. Here, you can toggle between different games to quickly find what you're looking for. And another cool thing about the clips library is that everything is organized by session and date so that you can find all of your clips in chronological order. And you can also see how many clips were extracted from each session. So next up we have montages, which are a merge of your best streaming highlights into one awesome clip. We're gonna come back to all of this in just a moment when we analyze a piece of content to find amazing moments. But for now, we're gonna move on to the next section, which is not the most exciting part of this video, but neither is brushing your teeth or paying your taxes, but 
It's got to be done and your life is probably going to be better for doing it. So next up, we have the utility section down here. Underneath utilities, uh, one of the most important parts is the join our Discord button here. Here, if you hit this, you can join the Powder Discord of over 69,000 other Powder Rangers. Next up, we have the settings section. And within the settings section, it allows you to set your preferences for storage, review the general settings or the patch notes. And last but not least, we have the My Account section. Here, you can update your profile picture, connect your Discord, TikTok, and Twitch if you haven't already done so. So now that I've given you a quick run through of the nav bar on the left, let's extract a couple of clips from Stream in Powder. So Powder was designed to do three main things for creators, save, simplify, and grow. And we achieved this with some amazing automation features. So let's start with save. First and foremost, Powder is all about saving you time and money as a creator. Gaming creators and their editors spend countless hours sifting through multi-hour stream content to find the best moments to turn into highlights, reels, or montages. With Powder's AI, you can now automate that process and have curated highlights at your fingertips in just a couple of minutes. For this demo, I've already uploaded one of our partner creator streams to show you how quick and easy it is to extract amazing clips once Powder has analyzed the stream. It's important to note though, that these files must be MP4 and must have a H.264 codec. So when you're using OBS, Streamlabs, or whatever your preferred streaming tool is, make sure to double check that your video encoder is set to a H.264 codec. Once you've uploaded your MP4 file, as I've already pre-prepared here, you'll see an option to choose which game that you are playing. If your game is not listed, it's not a big deal. Just select Universal Game Support and Powder will focus exclusively on extracting emotion-based highlights. You then click Analyze and Powder will do its thing. In this case, our partner streamer is playing Fortnite, so I click Analyze. Powder will then give you a time estimate as to when it will be finished, and you just let the loading bar do its thing. Of course, the time that it takes to process your stream and extract clips depends on the length of the streaming file that you input. The content that I've uploaded here is approximately 19 minutes in duration, so it's going to take approximately 1 minute and 30 seconds to finish up. If it looks like it's going to take a while, if you've uploaded a particularly large piece of content, this is the part where you grab a snack, see what's happening on Reddit, or take a little screen break. Once Powder has finished analyzing the stream, you will be presented with your initial in-game or emotion-based clips to review. Here, you can sort your clips by hype score, by chronological order, or by duration. And then over the left section here, you can see that each and every clip has an overall hype score that has been assigned by Powder's large language model. It has a list of events that have been identified in each clip, be it a keyword, a kill, death, loudness, emotions, and so on and so forth and a transcript button. From this view, we can expand the transcript to see exactly what was said in this particular clip, and we can actually play back the clip to see how it looks. But, okay, before we go ahead in and uh, toggle this button to add a clip to the export queue, we can further refine the clips that are presented to us by inputting parameters for what we would like Powder to find. So in the top bar up here, you input the keywords that you would like Powder to identify across the entirety of the stream. And this is where it starts to get really interesting. So in this instance, let's imagine that the creator was doing an activation for the likes of TikTok and Twitch. You simply input those keywords and any others that you think may be relevant. Or you can simply search for keywords that you think you said a lot on stream. Powder will then update the clips that are presented to you in real time with no waiting around as the video is already analyzed. And once Powder has updated, we can then see the keywords that we search for in the transcript as they are now highlighted for us. Similarly, we can also refine the types of clips that are presented to us by toggling on and off different events that we would like Powder to identify, such as video events, audio events, and other events. We can also choose the number of moments that we would like Powder to present to us and how long that we would like each clip to be. We can also reanalyze the entirety of the video if needed by clicking this button up here. So all of this to say, Powder is not just a tool to extract a general highlight reel. It presents to you a precise selection that has been refined by your exact input parameters, helping you find exactly what you need in seconds. Great, so now we're ready to export a few clips. So I've gone ahead and chosen two clips that I would like to export based on their hype score. So the first thing you may notice is the event bar down here. And this is where you will see the events that were identified by Powder as they're marked by symbols. And in this case, Powder has identified kills, emotions, and a whole bunch of keywords, which is validated by clicking the transcript button right here. And we can see the exact keywords that Powder has identified. 
We can also, if necessary, trim the start and stop times of clips. So in this particular one here, you can see that there's a lot of action within the first 75%. So we can actually trim the clip by moving these cursors right here. Once you're happy with the initial edits that you've made here, we are ready to export our clips, which is super quick. You simply hit this button right here and then Powder will do its thing. And within a couple of moments, our clips are gonna be stored in the clip library waiting for us to review. There it is. We are now ready to review our clips. So we've talked about save, but now let's talk about simplify. From the clips library, you can play back your clips in horizontal or vertical formats by clicking this button right here. You can see where the files are stored locally by clicking these buttons here, or you can delete the clips by clicking this button right here. Another cool feature is that you're able to post your best moments to TikTok in a really quick and easy way directly through Powder. So let's see how this looks. By clicking this button right here, Powder is going to prepare this piece of content so that it is going to be fit for purpose and posting across TikTok. And this is going to bring us to the Powder Vertical Layering System. So right here, you can see the Powder Vertical Layering System has just one single layer, but you can add up to seven layers so that you can capture as much gameplay from your stream as possible when posting on vertical social media platforms. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a pre-prepared template that I have created. Um, as you can see, it is called the Fortnite template here, but we have a whole bunch of other pre-prepared templates as well. So once I choose this one and import it, you can see that I'm capturing a lot more content. So I prepared four layers because I don't want it to be too busy on the right here. But as you can see, I'm capturing the main gameplay content right here. And as I shift this, you can see that the content being captured on the right side is also shifting. You can also see that I got the IRL stream uh, box right here the health bar right here, and then the gameplay map right here. You can move these around as much as you wish. And if you make an, uh, any errors uh, when you're experimenting, you simply hit the undo button and then powder will revert it back to its original position. Once you are happy with the uh, positioning of the layers, you can then save them as a template like I did so that the next time you process a stream when you're playing your favorite game, you can simply choose your pre-save template to see how everything looks in vertical format really quickly. Um, as I mentioned, we have prepared other templates for you to save you even more time as a creator. All you have to do is go to the load section right here and load up a pre-prepared template, but you can also add as many layers as you'd like by adding layers with these various buttons right here. So now that I've gone back to choosing my pre-prepared template, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the post to TikTok button. And this is super quick. Powder will hit you with a few quirky messages as it does its thing, and then it's gonna save you countless errors in your editing process. And as I mentioned, it's lightning fast, which is really cool when you wanna post your content ASAP after a stream. Once Powder has done its thing, the vertical highlight will be sent to your TikTok account and saved as a draft, so that you can perform any additional editing before sharing your new amazing clip with the world. So next up is one of my favorite parts we're gonna create a montage of our best streaming highlights that we had approved. So when we extract the clips, I just extracted two. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a montage from the previous session that I did where I have eight clips. So to create a montage, you simply hit the create montage button, and then you'll be presented with the option to either create a montage in vertical or horizontal formats. Vertical seems to be all the rage these days, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And here we are back at the powder vertical layering system. And as you can see, I already have my template applied here, but when this template is applied, it's not just going to be applied to one clip, it's going to be applied to every single clip that I had previously extracted from a single streaming session. So let's go ahead and apply this template. And this is going to be really, really quick. Voila. As you can see, we're going to see a lot of moments from a stream uh, that have been merged together into one super cut clip. Montages are a great way to keep your audience uh, engaged and entertained on TikTok, Shorts, and other socials if they didn't have time to watch the full stream, but they don't want to miss what went down when you were live. They're also a feature that we're always improving all the time. Right now, we have automatic transitions in this one vertical template, but there are going to be more templates coming online within the coming months. And in the very near future, we're going to be introducing custom templates for vertical formats so that you can put your creative touch and personal branding on all of your content. And this brings us to the grow element of Powder. By leveraging the capabilities of Powder, you can significantly increase how far your streams go and how much content that you can produce without having to pull all-nighters. Powder is your one-stop solution for simplifying your content creation process, saving you valuable time and money, and helping you grow across multiple social media platforms with just a few clicks. Thank you so much again for watching today's demo. I'm personally looking forward to chatting with each and every one of you in the Powder Discord and seeing the fantastic content that you create. 
you have any questions, need further info, or just want to say hi, I'm always here to help. Feel free to reach out to me at jeff at powder.gg or DM me on Discord. But beyond that, thank you again for watching. Goodbye and game on.